Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have Aryan here with us who's been recently placed at Cisco as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. So before we talk to him, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. Also, I wanted to say that Cisco is a super dream company in VIT. And yeah, let's look at the eligibility criteria now. All students from computer science and the socket branches were eligible provided they had a CGP of 70% or 7 in 10th and 12th as well as in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Let's go ahead and talk to Aryan now and understand his experience. Hi Aryan, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you, thanks Vishnu for having me. I would love to share my interview experience. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to share it with others. Right, that's great. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. So, hi guys. I am uh, Aryan Bhatt. I am from Ahmedabad, Gujarat. I am currently a fourth year undergraduate from uh, VIT Bellow. I have recently got an offer of internship plus full time from Cisco. Uh, that comes under the su super dream category and I am formerly a data analyst intern at uh, Adani Ports and Socioeconomics. So, that will be all. Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you for that. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, so uh, as you know, the placement season usually starts in June to July. Right. So first, as you, uh, you are also a VIT and so you would know that uh, first the slot one companies come mm -hmm. and uh, then then came Cisco. So mm -hmm. first we had a OA, that is a online assessment, right. that had uh, two coding questions and uh, the rest of the them was uh, aptitude mainly uh, categorized into qualitative, quantitative, reasoning and all. Okay. So uh, all in all, I would rate the difficulty of the OA as medium. Okay. Uh, the, the, code, the coding questions were mainly based on arrays and strings and you can easily solve it if you uh, solve lead code even uh, 40 to 50 questions of lead code. Okay. And uh, then uh, we, uh, we got a call up for the technical round. Uh, so the, when the HR contact, contacted me after I guess two days, hmm. two, three days, hmm. uh, the HR contacted me and sent me the Webex link. Hmm. So when the interview started, uh, the panel only comprised of only one individual. Hmm. After uh, looked up, uh, he was a technical lead of Cisco. Okay. So uh, so he asked, started with an uh, introduction and uh, to my surprise, he first, uh, rather than asking the technical questions, he asked me like, why do I want to join Cisco? That was a very uh, surprising moment for me because uh, technical ground, I have never seen someone asking me this question first. Right. So, I, so I gave him the answer. Uh, I have prepared for it especially because I had heard from my seniors that uh, they usually ask it, uh, why do you want to join Cisco? Hmm. Then uh, came the technical aspects of it. And as you know that Cisco is a networking and IT company. Hmm. So they mainly uh, focus mainly on the networking concepts like okay. the IPv4, IP, uh, IPv6. What is the difference between them? Why did we shift to IPv6? And uh, they asked me regarding the most latest famous uh, product of Cisco. That is the switch and routers as we talk about it. Hmm. And then came the coding questions. Uh, I guess, uh, do you want, uh, want me to answer the key with the keyword uh, of the coding question? Yeah, sure. Or you want to explain the problem statement? Anything is fine. Yeah. So, uh, uh, if you have solved lead code, you are uh, you guys may be familiar with the island traversal problem. Mm. So, uh, that, that was it. Then he asked me to rotate an array by 90 degree. So, I was easily able to solve it. Then uh, came the stack question. Uh, bal uh, balance parenthesis. Okay. So, uh, he asked me that. And uh, one more question that I am not able to recall, but it was mainly based on heap. Okay. That is the closest k elements uh, where a specific value of k was provided. Hmm. Uh, that was based on heap. So I was able to so solve it all. I was not able to solve the heap question, but hmm. I but I guess due to the time constraint, he was quite satisfied with the solution. Hmm. As I told that I would be using heap for this and how I would be using a mean heap and hmm. all. Hmm. So I guess he was satisfied. And uh, then he, uh, we ended the technical round. Hmm. And then after the same day, so the same day I uh, received the link for the uh, what they call is uh, the managerial round okay. or the executive round. Hmm. So executive round had an engineering lead. Okay. So uh, I got to know it beforehand, like he or she, uh, that he or she was going to be an engineering lead. Hmm. I asked my HR that. 
so i i was like oh, okay like uh, we need to prepare better because he is engineering lead hmm. so he would obviously know better hmm. so i prepared on my resume uh, the projects the keywords how to explain it and uh, when the link came and i joined so uh, he began with briefing on my resume he asked me what projects have i done so hmm. i mentioned in the projects he Uh, asked me about the tech stack that I used and mm. asked of certain follow follow up questions from it. So mm. all I learned from is that do not ever take your resume questions lightly mm. and only enter what you can answer in your resume. Right. That is all. Quality quality comes over quantity. You cannot be entering fifteen projects with all fifteen different tech stacks and right. you can ask a lot of questions from it. Mm. Don't give him the chance. Give your best projects mm. and. great uh, congrats again and thanks for sharing your experience thank you thank you for having me yeah so do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into cisco or any super dream company for that yeah so if you are from vit hmm. i would first talk about my we are we as uh, we as vit is especially you would you would also know that you are having my senior hmm. so uh, you would also know that we as a vit and we are proud of our placement scenarios that right. we get we are we, uh, we get many good opportunities right so don't over do hard work hmm. practice coding but 
get your theoretical understanding concepts clear as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. in the coding uh, in the coding around or the screening around as we say they won't mainly focus on whether you are getting the output or not mm. they would be focusing on whether the approach that you are using is mm. correct or not first of all are you able to solve the problem or right, not right. don't go, uh, first for the uh, for the first method do not focus on the time and space complexity do mm. not get all fishy about it mm-hmm. first solve the problem as we call it the brute forcing technique and then try to optimize it first get the logic clear and then do it the os operating system networking um then uh, dbms database management systems and all the core concepts that the teachers uh, that we have been taught by the, our faculties focus on them make notes do not discard those notes mm. focus on those subjects because surely the companies do ask in system design or anything mm. they 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 uh, they don't want uh, they don't want something you know freshly mugged up of google mm. they want something of your own understanding in layman words even if it is 40% 50% mm. correct if they have got the keywords that you want they will mark you mm. full uh, for that question right. that is it is for sure right. and wait wait for your opportunity if you don't get it selected if you are not shortlisted in the preliminary shortlisting itself you don't think that that is some something wrong with your resume or your cgpa so vid has set a very low bar for cgpa as you would also know that it is 8 or 7.5 to sit in all companies so it is good we can we can maintain but if, even if you don't get shortlisted don't disheart there are many companies that come late like goldman sachs uh, as i see the mails na uh, goldman sachs just came two to five days back right and this is literally the end of the placement season as we account right. so vid provides every opportunity and do not forget that the placement season is not only for two months hmm. it is a whole year round right if you are bound to get good opportunities hmm. so even if uh, even if someone gets placed ask him ask him or her that what questions did they ask get prepare that prepare that as well you mm. should all you should be all guns blazing in your interview that is all right. if you can uh, complete the online assessment then it is all on you right at uh, all the test cases that you have passed even they have a plagiarism checker uh, in the uh, in the course as well so do it on your own do not refer the internet materials and all while the while checking the oa and you would surely get shortlisted i have seen my friends uh, that could not do one, one coding question out of the two at all zero out of 12 zero out of 15 test cases but they got shortlisted because they attempted the first one perfectly with their own technique right even if it is o of n square complexity it's okay hmm. two for loop okay hmm. but i have seen them as well and prepare for aptitude this hmm. is the most 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 infamous part of the placement that no one focuses on aptitude I learned from my mistakes. I would like to pass this message that even aptitude is very, very, very important. Hmm. So I guess yeah, that will be all. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's great. Thank you again for your suggestions and for sharing your experience. Yeah. Thank Thanks, Jishnu, again for having me, and all the best to everyone that is watching this video for their upcoming placements whenever they watch.